Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles. I'm back to Sudoku 2 Set 7, where today we're going to be covering the Renban puzzle from the pack called Traffic Jam. Um, so, of course, there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as to where you can access the full pack. Um, let's go into the, um, let's go through the rules and then give this one a try. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Um, so in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then Renban, which I is actually quite a common and simple rule, but one that I find is the hardest to explain, which is digits placed on purple lines must be a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. And what that means is whatever the digits we put on one of these lines is, if you were to take them off and sort them, they must be a run of digits. So for example, um, uh, yeah, so for example, if we were to put, um, if this line could contain the digits one through six, um, they could be in any order, like one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, but you couldn't do like one, two, three, four, five, and seven, because that isn't a run of digits if you were to take them off and sort them. Um, I think that's the best way to explain it. Um, I've watched a few other people explain Renban and they just turn around and read the rules, but and I, it 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 does make sense. The rules are comprehensive in that, but if you don't click to them, they can be a little bit confusing. Hopefully, as I solve the puzzle, um, this will go through it. Though I do remember creating this one, and the ren bands are important in this only in a couple of important uh, a couple of ways. Um, the trick of this one is a little bit different. Um, hope, but yeah, each of the digits placed on the, the the digits placed on the line are a non-repeating, no repeats, a set of consecutive digits in any order. So the digits that are on the line will end up being a consecutive run. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So those of you who are familiar with this pattern without repeats will know exactly what's going on. Um, this puzzle involves a concept called roping. Um, and it's often called uh, roping because of the pattern that can evolve if you do the highlighting. Now, there's a couple of different ways of seeing it. The first way I can say is these three digits here, where do those three digits go in this box? Now, if we look at it, the, any of these three digits, it doesn't matter which one we pick, but let's pick those as a set of three. None of those three digits can go in those cells because these three digits can't repeat in their row. None of these three digits can go in those cells because um, you can't repeat those three digits on the line. So those three digits must be those three digits. And because those are the same three digits, where do these three digits go in this box? box. Now they can't be those or those because those three digits appear here and those three digits appear here. So they must be those three digits. Now immediately you can see that if these are all the same three digits, the three digits are four, six, and eight. So that's an, this is an eight. These are four and six, and this is a four, six, eight triple. And that's forced by the roping. But there's another way to see this in this puzzle if you don't know the roping trip which is, we know that, let's look at these three digits here. Those three digits there can't appear on this line. So whatever is on this line cannot appear in those cells or those cells. But we know this is six different digits because you can't repeat. And those three digits can't um, appear on the line. So this is a set of nine different digits. But this is also three digits that can't appear on the line. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and those three digits, which can't be the same as any of those because they would repeat, therefore, in either the row or the box. These are three completely different digits. They're not the same as those three or those three that can't be the same as any of those. So that is a set of nine different digits. So this has to be the yellow set, and then you can get into it that way. So we know that those um, these three digits are the same as those three digits. So there's multiple ways of getting into it this way. But anyway, we know that these are four, six, eight. So um, we can go back to the coloring, which is where do those three digits appear? Those are those three digits and therefore those three digits because they're not four, six, eight. Those three digits are those three digits are those three digits. Don't need to color the four, six, eight. We're already done. So we know five is on the line here and two is off the line. But if two is off the line, well, what can go on the line? 
Um, it can't, you can't put one on the line either because a one on the line would mean that I need to put a two on the line because if I have a one, because it's a consecutive run of digits, I'd need one, two, three, four, five, six, and I can't put two on the line. So one is not on the line. So one has to be in one of those two cells. And this one here is saying, that's not the one, that's the one. And one is in one of those two. So we end up with this. And I'm not sure if I get much further. Two is in one of those two. And one is in here as well. Um, now I do need a five and I need a seven on the line. I need a seven on the line because um, there is an eight on the line. In order to connect the six and the eight, I need a seven on the line. So there's a seven in one of those two because it can't go there. And there's a seven, therefore in blue, which means that's a seven. Um, and I think that's about as far as I get. There's a five and a seven up here. I think that's about as far as I get with this. But this pattern is completely repeated in these columns and down here as well. I'm not sure where to start. Um, let's, let's see if I can do anything down here. I know that seven is on the line because seven and seven puts seven on the line. So if there's seven on the line, well, I know there's no one on the line because one it sees the whole line. So that actually doesn't help me as much. Uh, let's do the coloring. Those are the same digits, those ones there. So that means three is in this set and three is one of those two. Now, but it, that means I can ask where do say these digits, which are the other digits on the line go. They're not those, they're not those, they're these, and therefore these. I don't need to color these, the, the uncolored ones are the same three digits. So one is not on the line. One is up here in one of those two. Oh, there's no seven on this line. I should have done this one first. This seven is saying that there's no seven on this line, which means I can't put an eight or a nine on this line. This line is one through six. Yeah, I should have done this one first. I'm actually gonna change. And I'm gonna do the coloring again to um, cause it to highlight. So those digits are those digits are those digits for exactly the same reason. Those digits are those digits and those digits for exactly the same reason. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm not gonna color the, the, um, the last ones yet. But we know that this line must contain one through six because if I put, I can't put seven on it because the seven sees the whole thing. And if I put eight on it, I'd need a seven because you can't put eight, I can't get a six a run of six digits um, with without a seven unless uh, with an eight or a nine, unless I use a seven. If I start with nine and go down nine, eight, seven, start with eight, even if I go up as high as I can with the nine, I need to then go down and need a seven. So these are one through six. So the one must be on the line and yellow isn't on the line. So that's not the one, that's the one. Which means this isn't the one, this is the one. Yellow is not on the line, but I know that two, well, hang on, what digits aren't on the line? They're 789. This is 789, this is 789, and this is 789. So that's the eight, that's the nine, that's the two. Great. There's no eight in either of those. This is the three that hasn't been placed. So three is not here. This is the three. Three is in one of those. Two is in one of these because this is two, three. So these are two, four, and six because it's two, three, four, six. There is a five in one of those and it's four, five, six. And this is what we get to here. So these are four, five, six, and these are uh, two, three, four, six. Now there's no six here. There's no two here. And I think that's where I get two here. Not bad. Okay. Maybe I can get it further, but now let's relook at this because we know these are the same digit as those is the same as those. So I can recolor. If I use different colors, I just end up with too many overlapping um, color sets. And I find that quite disconcerting. Um, so let's do this. So three, seven with four, five, six. Well, there's no four in yellow. So this can't be the four. So this is three, five, six, and seven. There must be a four in one of those two, but there must be a four in blue, which means that's not a four.
There's a one in one of those. Oh, this one doesn't seem as powerful, does it? This ah, this is a five or a six because it's three, seven with five, six, and the six is saying that's the five. So this is a five. So this is no six. This is three, five, seven. There's no five here. There must be an eight or a nine in here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. But there is a three on here. So I can't put a nine in blue because we know what this is now. Because there must be an eight or a nine in blue, and I can't get as high as nine if there's a th if there's a three in yellow. Because three, four, five, six, seven, eight is as high as it can go. So there's no nine. There must be an eight, and I've got three, four, five, six. This is four, six, eight. There's no four there. There's no six in either of those. That's the six. This is a four, eight, and this eight says that that's the four and that's the eight. This is four, six, eight. So that's the eight. There's no two there. That's the two. That's the nine. And these are one, two, nine. So that's one, two, nine, and that's two, nine. Uh, the two takes two out of there. This is a six and an eight with the eight looking down, making that the six and that the eight. And I think that's as far as I take this. I think that's as far as I take that one for now. So we can get rid of that coloring. But if you don't know this trick, and if you don't know the roping, I imagine this puzzle would be very tricky. Sorry, I'm on um, cold and flu drugs at the moment. There's four and six because of this six. And now we know four is in one of those two. Um, Right, well, let's do the colouring again to make it clear. Those digits have to be those digits for the same reason, and therefore they're those digits. Um, so there must be a two in yellow. So that's the two. Um, there's a four. There must be a two in yellow. So this is not the two. This is the two. Um, these digits are those digits and those digits. So there's a six in here. That six is saying it's not there. So there's a six in one of those two, but there must be a one or a nine because blue contains one or nine, but there's a two in yellow. So I can't get as high as nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven is as high as I can get. So the blue contains the one and this is the nine. And this is another one through six line. So there's a one in here, but there's no one here. So this is actually a one, six pair. So we've got one, two, these, well, there's no seven in yellow because this is all one through six and this is three, five. So this can't be seven and this can't be seven. So this is the seven because um, these are the digits on the line, which are one through six. So again, this is seven, nine, because it's seven, eight, nine off the line. The seven makes that the nine and that the seven. This isn't five, this isn't one. This is the one because these are seven, nine, and the seven makes that the nine and that the seven. And this is three, five. Okay, can I see how to resolve that? Not yet, but that's pretty much the roping done. This is three, four, five. That is pretty much the roping done for now. Now, I don't think I need to jump back into the other roping. I just need to find this eight makes this the nine, this the eight. I just need to find what's going on. So this digit here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is a nine. So these are one, two, three, five, and seven which works for that being three, five, seven, and that being three, five, seven. There's no three there. There's no five there. There's no seven there. Okay. So it comes down to this central box. Well, eight, 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 and eight means there's no eight in any of those. That's an eight. Uh, what other digits? Nine is in one of those two. There's nine, nine, and nine. Seven and seven put seven in one of those two. Ah, but that seven is looking up saying not there. That's the seven, making that the five, which makes that the three and that the seven. Um, okay. Okay. 
ah, where's one in this box? Because one and one take one out of all of those. That's an eight and that one says not there. So that's the one, that's the nine. But the one looks over making that the six, which makes that the one. The six looks across taking six out of both of those. So six is in one of those two. These two digits. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two and four, and the two makes that the four and that the two, which takes two out of there. But the four takes the four out of those. These, one, two, three, and five, and the three makes that the five and that the three. The three looks across making that the six, which makes that the five, that the four. That takes four, oh, the four makes that the three, which makes that the two. The three and the four makes this the five, which makes this the three, which makes that the four. The three by line, because I can't repeat digits on the line, makes that the five and that the three. The five looks down, making that the three and that the five. The four looks down, making that the six and that the four. I also could have used the six on the line. That looks up, making that the six and that the four. And the nine looks down, making that the two and that the nine. And that is how you solve Traffic Jam by Bremster. The big trick on this one is the roping, and there's a couple of different ways to find it that I wanted to take the time to explain. And these digits in the crook of the line, um, particularly the seven, being very forcing about what's on the line. That's the trick and hopefully quite an easy one to spot and follow. Um, as I said, with the, I've said in the past, with the etudes, the whole concept is them to be short lessons um, and little practice pieces, and this one is definitely about roping. Hopefully you enjoyed the puzzle. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.